Open the application 1992 Enterprise and select New Project. The Parameters Manager is showed and you configure the parameters of the project. Choose the catalogs that you need to work. For example, kitchen furniture and decorations. Then select the basic model. For example, for kitchen furniture catalog, select the model Zebrano 008 from the category PVC doors. Define as the basic model by clicking the arrow to the right. Press OK and OK again to close the window of Parameters Manager. Now you start drawing the walls. Design the first wall to the right and give length 930 mm. Display the top view by clicking this button. With the arrows to the left or the arrow keys on the keyboard, choose the direction upward and draw the next wall giving length 1500 mm. Draw the next wall to the right and give length 3300 mm. Finish the drawing of walls by left clicking and then click the button Wall Extension to deactivate the designing of walls. Display the floor plan again. From a new project, select Save As. Open the folder Jobs and in the file name write the name of the project, for example My Kitchen. Then click Save. Start the placement of items with the base and all units. From a new placement, select Items. From Items window, select and open the catalog Kitchen Furniture and then the category Units. Select category Tall Units and then Tall Units Height 207 Final. From Items, choose Final plus Door and then the code TF2033 left. Press Placement and put it on the first wall. Select category Appliances, Tall Hobs, then the category Oven Tall Units Height 207. From Items, choose the code TO21060 left and place it on the first wall. Choose again the category Units, Tall Units, and then Tall Units Height 207 Final. From the items, choose Final Plus Door, and then the code TF26056 Right. Place it in the corner beside the oven. Continue with the category Units, Tall Units, and select Height 195 Door Units. From items, choose the category Width 30, and the code TD01013. Press Edit button to change the height of the unit. In the field height, write 2070 mm and press Placement. Put the item to the second wall. From Category Units, Corner Base Units, select Corner Rectangular Units, height 72 door. From Items, select code CB04120 and place it in the corner. Open the category Base Units, select Base Units Height 72 Door and then the item code BD02015 left. From category Base Units, Base Units Height 72 Curved, Depth 56, select code BC04090900. In this unit you will put the hot plates. Press button Attachments and from the list that appears choose Hobbs. Select the dimension HOBS 59510 and then the code HB 09058. Press Add and OK. Place the item. From Base Unit Height 72 Door, choose code BD02015 Right. Select again the category Units Corner Base Units, select Corner Rectangular Units Height 72 Door, and from Items choose the code CB04090. Select Category Appliances, Sink Units and then Category Sink Base Units Height 72 Door. From Items select code BS01090. Put the sink by pressing the button links. All sink codes are displaying and match in the dimension of the unit that you choose. Select Korean Sinks and then code SK27080 right. Press Add, OK and Placement. Place the item freely in the floor plan and then press to the left pointing arrow to rotate the object in the right direction.
place it next to the corner. Select category Units Corner Base Units, select Corner Rectangular Units Height 72 Door and from Items select code CB06170. Press the Edit button to change the size of the item. In the field height write 600 mm and press Placement. Place the item freely in the floor plan and then press to the left pointing arrow to rotate in the right direction. Finally select the category Units Base Units and then Base Units Height 72 Final. From Items choose Final plus Doors and then the code BF14056 left. Press the Edit button to change the size of the item. In the field height write 600 mm and press Placement. Place the item freely in the floor plan. From Tools select icons to change the motion of the item and choose Back and Right. Also select to place Investment Store in the back side of Sink and Corner. Select the category Units, Base, Units and then End Doors Height 72. From Items choose Door and then code ED02045. Press Placement and then the arrow pointing right in order to change the direction of the door. Place it in the back corner. With the same way place the remaining investments. If you control parameters for a door, you can select it and then press right click to select copy. Again right click, choose paste and place the door in the back of the sink. Continue the item placement with wall units. From menu placement select items. In the window of items select and open the catalog kitchen furniture and then category units. Select category corner wall units and then corner rectangular wall units height 72. From items choose code CW18060. Press placement and place the object in the corner. Continue with the category wall units and choose wall units height 72 final. From Items select Final plus Door and then the code WF26060 left. Place the item to the second wall. In the Window Items press the Cancel button. So the elevation of the third wall. Select the Minimize button and then the Elevation button. From the Panorama of Floor Plan select the wall 3 and appear the elevation. Display the window items by selecting the yellow cube of the icons on the right. Continue with category Units, Wall Units and choose Wall Units Height 72 Door. From items select the category Door and then the code WD07025 right. Place the item to the third wall. From the same category select and place the item code WD 07050 left. Select again the category Wall Units, select Metallic Hood and from Items choose Hood with 90 and then the code MH06032. Press Edit and change the height of the hood to 720 mm. Place the item. Return to the category Units, Wall Units and select Wall Units Height 72 Door. From Items choose the category Door and then the code WD07050 right. Place the item to the third wall. Choose again the category Units, Wall Units and then Wall Units Height 72 Final. From Items select Final plus Door and then the code WF21033 right. Place the item. Finally select the category Board Cells and then Board. Select the code BR01000. Pressing Placement appears the Item Edit window. In the Width and Depth fields write 900 and 320 mm respectively. Press OK and place the item. Left in the Item Margins area in the fields up Write 2170 and press Enter to register the new alignment of board. Finally, place the board manually near Air Extractor. Display perspective by clicking the Minimize button and then First icon. 
from the panorama of floor plan, translate or rotate the camera to show another angle view of the project. Pass the mouse over any of the walls, for example wall 3. The wall is identified. From left options check show tiles and then OK. From the list that appears below the panorama of floor plan, choose the wall 2 and check again show tiles. Then click OK. In this way you can import the tiles on the walls 2 and 3. Using the tool Draw Surface will be design a workup in order to put above the units of island. Show the floor plan. Select the icon Zoom and focus on the area that you want to work, the area with the island. Then select the icon Draw Surface. Open the window and in Tab Dimensions define the size of item to create. In width write 2250 mm, in depth 1450 and in alignment 700 mm. Then select the tab specification. Here define the texture of the item. In area surface details, in the field surface, there are three surfaces of the item. Each of these you give the texture that you want, for example texture worktop. In the field texture options choose texture and then from category texture select worktop. Do the same for all surfaces one to one. Finally, in Field Options check Frame to display only the frame of the item in order to change easily its shape. Click OK and place the item in floor plan. Left in the Field Change choose Change Shape to modify the shape. You can add markers to the item and translate them. In the horizontal side of the item make a left click and create a new marker with just transfer it to the inner side of the unit. In the lower horizontal side of the item make a left click and create a new marker which transfer it to the same straight with the union of the two units. On the left vertical side of the item make a left click and create a new marker which just transfer it up to the height of units. Select the top left corner of the item and transfer it to the point that the units are connected. The diagonal which has set up, make a left click and create a new marker above the center line. Then cut this point and move it downward to create a 90 degree angle. Press CTRL and left click together in follow angles. In the down left, down right and in the inner right. With this way the angles change to curves. If necessary you can adjust the curve by moving the points have been created outside of the curve. Finally press OK and place the item. Show the perspective to see the kitchen which designed. From the panorama of floor plan you can translate or rotate the camera and see the project from another angle view.